Hello. We are back to Mario and Luigi Dream Team. It's been a bit now. Feels weird to have like been playing other games because I nearly played the uh, other ones entirely without interruption. Other than I think a bit of Paper Mario. Uh, we just started Mushroom Park's Dream World last time. And I guess we're hunting down attack pieces. I must have just come in through that pipe and then ran down there. Because we don't even have this one piece right next to us. Yeah, I guess that's where that goes and then we'll uh, spit out in the same location. There's a couple places I have to backtrack to as well. We'll see if we can get all that solved. We don't have Luigi's Luigi-nary. Oh, well, we have this, I guess, but we don't have most. There's some other thing in here that I felt like we should maybe be able to do that we can't just yet. Uh, and I guess we want to hook up the water. I guess that's what we're doing. Water pipe map, yeah. So that's good so far, and then... We have to rotate each of those orange pieces far off to the right, I think. Unless I needed to keep one of those... Oh, I probably need to go back and hop inside that before I have Luigi rotate it. Yeah, okay. Sneezy sleepy boy. And I guess I'll just keep you back there for now. Gotta use to the rhythms of combat again. Uh, cause Astrobot was not hard. <laughs> and this series tends to be harder for me. Didn't even one shot him, what the fuck? Ooh, okay. Oh wait, I can can I hammer in four directions? Yeah. Alright. That's not terrible to defend against. And we better heal pretty damn quick, because my meter is just not going to fill up, and I'm going to lose out on stuff. Unfortunately. Where do you go? You go way up here, but... How does that help me? I don't know that it does, unless I somehow fall here from somewhere else, but that doesn't seem like it would happen either. Well, I don't know exactly what the point of this is. I guess maybe just to get back, but then you'd think they'd like give me a shortcut or something. I have a dedicated hammer button now, don't I? I think that's maybe what X and Y do. I'll have to test that in the field. Alright, and I was told that we want to be hammering anytime they're wide like this. Still not great at hammer timing, though. A massive failure all around. And this is why I still have those defense pants. All right, a little bit early, but better. There's the right timing. Flags aren't moving much. I am excited to get a dream thing though, but I think then we start using the gyroscope and that's spooky scary. Uh, Luigi. Well, first I gotta figure out what I need to be doing. And then after that, we'll have him uh, do a blow. Yeah, probably now do a blow. 
there we go. That should be all set now. Uh, oh, and I guess that fixes something in the room we were in before that I've completely forgotten. There we- yes, kill them both, how'd that happen? I guess we're just gaming. And you won't- you won't blow these little fans, will you? Or rather, it won't do anything for me if you do. It's just decorative. Okay, so we're back up here. Which I guess has gotten me past that gate. That's just really high up. The rest of these seem to take uh, some interaction that we don't have. So I think, like, yeah, yeah, this. Um, I was thinking like, oh, surely you can inhabit that and then I can twirl your fucking mustache. But no, he doesn't want to go into those plants specifically for some reason. Oh, and I guess we don't have a dedicated hammer button. That sucks. Thought we did. Oh yeah, and the dialogue's weirdly quiet. Exactly, Elder Furry. We can help. I don't remember why we're chasing him. Well, we did already take care of the water pressure. So however we activate this pump station, we should be good to go. What does this room look like? Uh, I guess it goes further up, maybe. For now, let's play with his mustache. Oh, it is the same. Well, I guess this is maybe the original plant and not that new kind that we seemingly can't do for whatever reason. Whoa, possessing plants? Kids these days, ain't that something? Now me too. I mean, yeah, I guess, why not? Hey! You're close. <laughs> One of those Luigianary attacks, as the kids call them. I don't understand you kids and your new fangled gossip. Mario's younger than me, that's upsetting since he's supposed to be fucking, like, 25. Yeah, so we're gonna go back, learn something new, and then I guess we gotta, like, manually backtrack unless we do some real up and down and all around shit. Okay, yes, big fan deployed. Is this like something around the whole park? Oh, it turns the platforms, I see. What? That can't have been a single coin. That was probably like another five or ten like people were telling me last time. Chuckleheads is such a good insult. Remember that attack piece? I had another one up my ass. Yeah, I tilt it. Ooh, we'll see how. I, I really hope I can make this work. Grab Luigi noids. All right. Uh, yes, demo, please.
Okay. So far, this is fine. I was worried about, like, like, you know, way more drastic motion I was going to be asked to do. That was nearly perfect. I think I missed, like, one Luigi in wood. Alright. Not a problem, then. Are we meant to use that here, though? If Like, if they don't force me, I probably won't. Because this is just, like... Well, I guess there's two big ones. But still. Alright, they're gonna make me whatever. Whatever! Aw, thank you. You're gonna heal me afterwards, too, right? And, and literally between every single battle, you're gonna heal me, right? Oh, it gets its own slot, even. Ooh, ooh, okay. Immediately not quite as easy. Uh, we're still doing decent. I feel goofy, like, tilting shit around, though. Oh, I could have done something there. Shit. That was not very good, actually. Gotta go, ugh. I don't think I even got the big guys. Alright, well, I guess I'll use items if I need to. Um, I was not clear on where and why I was supposed to press A around the end there. And then I just missed more this time. Gotta make sure I'm not bouncing. Oh, that, that was a bunch on the table. There we go. Okay, okay. I left a few on the table and still got an excellent because I hit my A prompt. We can all rhyme, Mr. Guy. Calm down. Okay, let me... My mind left reality. Oh, I suppose we didn't actually see the map on here. So, yeah, this is where we do it. Uh, I will need to use an item after that. And I do not even have that much because I haven't gone shopping, so... Maybe we'll wait in case I need to do it in, like, one more battle will fill up, like, when I absolutely have to. What's over here? Alright, Weege. Give him a blow. Oh, God. Okay, thought I was going to have to play slots again. If they handle it, that's fine. Don't you love it when your metal gently undulates like that? Maybe this will, like, flood some of the previous... Previous... The previous areas. Or I... I we're going to do inflation again. See if I can find my way around without being overly reliant on the map. Uh, yeah, okay. I wish that I could jump down through platforms, like in Kirby or Smash Bro. That's such a good thing to let someone do. Admittedly, not a thing we could do in Astrobot, but I was just gonna say, like, damn, Astrobot, though, land of conveniences. You don't really need to, though, because it's 3D. 
Do we want to blow the water? Oh, yeah, why were you unhooked? Are we gonna have to rehook all this shit? Why? Why would you not just keep that how it's supposed to be? I guess now, though, there's a use for this pipe. That would also explain why nothing more dramatic happened, because I thought that that one pipe spewing water was a little bit anticlimactic for this whole setup. Oh yeah, we're filling up the statue. For whatever the good that does us. Oh, so were they just like little sprouts? That's why we couldn't use them yet? Because that makes sense. Okay, look at my map again that I can't have all the time. We should, if we can't get it there, then I guess we go back to the bird or even back one previously from the bird. That would then get us to all of the places that we couldn't previously. I'm really like, my brain is not here tonight. I'm I'm gonna be very reliant on the map, unfortunately. We'll keep going for now. I'll see if I can do other things before I do this. Do you? So let's do that. Actually, can you go kind of like straight up? Well, not well. Yeah, really, really not at all. Uh, I can like grab and stretch you, but that's about it until I like run out of touchscreen space. But maybe we're going back and forth between screens here for a bit. Oh, Mario. You pizza. I can already tell this is going to be tedious. Set him gently. Oh, no, don't fling him. Is there a way to let him down? I don't know. Fuck. So how am I going to get you up to that next section if I can't seem to stand on these clouds? There I can, okay. And in fact, I can even go here, and what is over here? A new screen. Cool. You come on down, dude. I- the ha other than, like, the hammer thing on the... crowd tiles there, there was, like, no feedback that I did that right. He didn't, like, go ow or have a funny noise or something. Fuck. 13 damage, really?
Gotta get better at hammers. And these. I gotta get better at a lot of stuff. Still hoping that Brothership is just easier being on a Switch. Let's see, level 9 is BP, which is good, because we're getting more use for that. You could give me more than one at a base, though, damn. I gotta relearn the timing on this, too. Coin Bro Gloves. You go there. 100% more coins if you defeat an enemy with a bros or legionary attack. Who has more BP right now? I guess we, I feel like we want Mario to have the power, so I guess you can have that. That's not gonna like make or break anything for me anyway. And let's grab that while we're up here. Okay, so then this will get me up there for whatever thing we need to do there, and then that's all the extra crap. Oh, it's a propellion, and I didn't even touch him right. Chuckle fucks. Fuck. Turns out I was the chuckle fuck. God, I, was I down that much? Holy shit. These guys are dangerous. Dry. So bad at that. It's just making me sound like, you know, like a white woman having a treat. Like, oh, I'm so bad. That one, like, librarian lady on Family Guy who does that, I think that's insanely funny because mom will do that shit sometimes. I'm like, oh, mother. Is it, why is it raining now? Who knew there was dynamic weather in my Mario and Luigi 3DS game? Where am I... supposed to be now that I think about it? Did I want to do something at the chicken? Because Luigi can't blow it. Now it almost looks like the water is not full again. Um, maybe there's a plant in one of the other screens to the right that I need to do. Maybe it has been raining this whole time and I was not fucking noticing because that would explain why things are growing with rain. Oh, these grew. Yeah, okay, and then we can get up there. I guess that's it. Oh, Mario. Luigi. Man, they're both fucking up, and it's definitely not me. Okay, but I don't want to go that way. I want to get other goodies first. 
Why is Luigi sleeping? Uh, so because this whole game is sleep themed, there's like an ancient civilization of sleepy pillow people. And he's sleeping on one of them who has been turned into stone by like darkness. Uh, and I guess just canon to Luigi is that he can fucking fall asleep instantly, apparently. So he does that, and then we enter the special dream world, and then Starlo, that little gold star sprite goober, like, tickles him and diddles his dash, and then that makes stuff happen in the dream world. Hi, though, kitty. Hi. Pets you. Uh, so, like, I can do this. I can, like, make him blow. And then that can, like, rotate these windy things. Much like you, he's just a sleepy little guy. If only my dreams made this much sense. Uh, well, yours would have a lot more men. I'm not even, what did I just, oh, well, I fell. Uh, but I'm not sure what else I just did. I think I maybe extended another weather vane. I don't know, do you feel like you have very discombobulated dreams? I feel like I just mostly don't remember mine. Maybe if I like dream journaled. Because on occasion when I feel like I actually have a dream that like my brain is recognizing, I then, you know, just forget it. Because I don't write it down or anything. And my old addled brain can't handle excess thoughts at this point. Oh, shit. Well, I need you to, like, anchor somewhere else. Is that what the red switch does? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I think I have to get back on top first. I guess that works. That's not quite what I was expecting, but sure. My dreams are either a plot line with more holes in it than roads here, or I spend the entire night picturing myself with boys. Your dreams are just a fireman calendar. Not that kind of boy. Uh, your dreams are a dudes in Miku dresses calendar. Not the kind either. Uh, fuck, I don't know. What's your type? If not, like, femboys. It's just a room full of naked cloud strifes. There's one Zack in the corner. Your brain reverted to 2021? Since when has my type been femboys? I am- Well, I don't know. Don't you want to, like, fuck yourself? I know that you're a little bit more into twunk than twink now. But I didn't realize you'd fully forsaken femboys. Also bold of you to think my brain has progressed since 2021. Need a top, not a twin. Look at these gay little clouds. Can I get down, though? I guess I have to go the other way. After I bump into this fucker. Three fuckers, that's too many. I 
How was your day, little bub? How, how was managing an entire store? Oh no, was today... No, tomorrow's your day off. Yeah, how was managing an entire store by yourself? Since that's apparently your job now. Or it has been for a while. Not bad, Monday, Tuesday was pretty miserable. Aw. Sorry to hear it. But you have an enrichment day tomorrow. Are you gonna play Final Fantasy? Since you finished Cyberspunk? I finished Astrobot. I'm sad that it's done. And I'm hoping they'll make more. Usually made plans with my flatmate Thursday, but it depends on if he's awake. Yeah. Because are you guys kind of on opposite schedules? Well, no, I guess you're on a normal schedule for where you live now. If he is, we play Skylanders. If he isn't, I add it. How Skylanders? I don't think I've ever actually played it, but I did see my neighbor's kids play it briefly. I don't think I'd hate it, though. Like, I, I am annoyed by the idea of, like, amiibo type shit where you have to have the toys to do stuff, but it's kind of just like a platformer or something, right? Not an opposite schedule, she just works a lot less than me, so he has more flexibility to sleep. Right, okay, so he might be doing some degen hours or something. Generous of them to give me a jump on the uppercut. You played when you was a kid and it's no cheap as chips. Hold on, I'm getting assaulted. And failing at my action commands. Cheapest chips you guys ever seen the Skylander in all the games of Wii U? Wow. I would think they'd be hard to find. But then again, I mean, if it were me, if I decided tomorrow I wanted to play Skylanders, I would just find one of those, like, amiibo spoofers. They made millions. I guess because they're targeted at little, little kids, they would probably plan on selling more of them than, like... Well, I don't know. I guess Amiibo are also kind of for kids, but I feel like Amiibo are more all ages and Skylanders are more, like, little, little kids, usually, as a generalization. Did they loot box the kids? I don't think so. I think you could buy them, like... Usually in packs of a couple, but it was, I think it was just like, you would buy as advertised. And they're in abandoned format now, so nobody wants them. Amoeba still hangs around. Skyline, there's just infinity or dead. Gotcha. Hello, Watcher. Oh, I think he just missed. What a goober. Oh, I gotta remember to heal before my meter fills up. I'm kind of surprised that that, like, toy format hasn't turned into a digital version of itself. You could argue that's kind of like what Fortnite skins are, but that's the only version of that I can think of. Unless there is, like, a digital Skylanders that I've just completely not known about. I guess they'd have to do something, though, right? They wouldn't just, like, have all of them there all the time. It would be, like, either rotating, like, the Fortnite shop, or it would be, like, on gotcha banners or something. Nut. It was all physical before microtransactions. She just bought them. Didn't know it was all physical because I heard mounds and mounds of Skylanders like it was Pokemon. Gotcha is basically all digital Skylanders, you needed the guy to do the thing. It's close, yeah. How can it still be so popular for so long? Uh, I mean, because it's toys and bright colors and... Like, I think, because this, this still appeals to me now, so I bet it would as a kid, but the idea of, like, you go to your friend's house to like play the game you guys play and you plug in like your special goober that like he doesn't have and it's just yours 
and like he has his own and your other friend has their own and, like i think that's really cool and, you know and you can fucking like trade them around like trading cards if you wanted to it's very it it like cashes in on that same gotta catch them all kind of thing that pokemon has popular for three years only sat around for five at most 2012 to 2017 that sounds about right yeah I never hear kids talking about, not that I hear kids talking in general. This is more just my impressions. I feel like kids don't play gotchas. Like the MiHoYo games are all the horny adults wanting their anime husbandos and waifus. Similar lifespan to the hero. Yeah, those haven't done shit either. We have like Osu now uh, as a rhythm game, but that takes no equipment. There's that little drum thing, I guess, but I think that maybe is also mostly just done on like a keyboard and mouse. That's how it's always been. The kids play Call of Duty while the adults play Pokemon. Yeah, when you say it that way, that makes sense. I'm sure there are teens looking at like Genshin and being like, what the fuck? This has too many bright colors and Paimon is dumb and this is for babies. And then you get into college and everybody's like, oh, I want to fuck Ito and Goro. Paimon is the worst part. I, again, I still don't hate her like everybody does, but she's not the best. T Peach is kidnapped again. Shocked. You, it's just the Alaprex cute little things theorem, and she falls on the bad side of that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Even if other people don't like her, it still is. Every every little thing the Alaprax cuteness theorem applies to. My friend and sister is five to eight. They're addicted to their tablets. Hung out with them during Christmas and she was playing Pokemon Unite. You imagine playing Pokemon Unite. I don't do that anymore, so I get to say it's bad now. Also, imagine playing that on tablet. Gross. I played it on iPhone a little bit at times when I was doing dailies. Uh, for like, like farming shit, like on bots, you know? I would never play a real match on a, on a phone or something. And I'm assuming they didn't have controllers either. Imagine playing Pokemon Unite. I spent months convincing you. You spent like a month, maybe. And then I was like, yeah, fine. I feel like it was mostly just that one day when we were hanging out in the morning and you were like, stop, and I was like, okay, fine. Imagine tossing a little guy into the air. It was like both before and during my visit. Was it? I thought I stopped like... Earlier, I know I played Genshin when you were here. Because I remember there was that one night when, like, we were getting ready to go to bed. And then I was like, oh, wait, shit, I got a pull for Navia. <laughs> no, I don't. What is her name? Nadia? Navia? I don't remember. You'd think I'd fucking know. I'm telling you, I spent at least two months convincing you the Pokemon isn't worth it. Well, okay, but, but was, was this, did I not stop, like, like March or April or something of the year and then you visited in the fall or was it between the fall visit and the spring visit? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! <laughs> Mr. Flufferbuns, I've got a cuddle session with your name on it, POV, a top taking you into the next room. I don't remember exactly, I just know it was multiple months. Convincing you that Unite and Genshin is at the same time as worth it. Joke's on you, because now I'm playing Genshin and Zenless. 
Bazenless is better than Unite. Also, the dailies are shorter and not infuriating. Not that I'm happy to be on the hook to multiple gotchas slash daily games, but they are both bringing something cool to the table, whereas Unite was me just wanting like a cool multiplayer game to play with people and then not playing enough of it with people and then getting annoyed by people. Not not the people I was playing with, although sometimes like Shiro's chat just like wouldn't fucking acquiesce to someone needing to be the leader. Um but a lot of it was just like me with randos, and I was like, eh, you annoy me, randos. My morning routine consists of spending an hour thinking about getting out of bed 15 minutes, laying in my covers, and being like, it's too warm, I can't, and then finally getting up and doing nothing for another half hour. Yeah, because you're a sleepy little guy. And you probably you probably bake some biscuits in there, right? And then you like scratch a post, drink some milkies, go out drink some fizzies. Have we seen Bowser yet? Is he involved? Clearly, the he's here because the minions are. Something something bun in the oven. <laughs> Yeah, he has a bun in the oven because he's very pregnant as a femboy. Because he's not part of my morning routine, that's a daytime activity. Morning is day, buddy. There he is. Morning is whatever I want it to be. So fussy, such a cat. After he's baked his biscuits and got up, and brushed his tooth. Then he has his fizzy and goons to cloud for several hours. Professor Jor, morning is day. I mean, it depends on how many subsections we're putting the day into, right? If we say day and night, morning is day. If we go like morning, noon, afternoon, evening, something like that, then maybe not. Again, I need clarification. Are we pushing Aloe or are we pushing me? <laughs> Hold on, what is that one? Falling over. Daytime is like a few hours. I'm glad that uh, the UK works on your schedule. After you've gotten up for a few hours, you can phone the folks at the Royal Palace to turn on the uh, day-night cycle and then progress it to daytime. I wake up at 10 a.m. So that literally when it's noon, you're like, uh, it can be day now. I just don't get to 10 a.m. is absolutely daytime, you goober. Unless, well, barring extreme conditions like the fucking Arctic, where daytime is like 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. or something. Like, th the sun's up, dude. It's day. You're such a cat. Dreamy Luigi's fucking abstracting through the background. Reminded the UK is a lot more north than everyone thinks it is. Dead of winter, sun doesn't rise until 9 a.m. and sits at 3. Well, if the sun rises at 9, then it's morning. Then it's day. morning person opinion valid are you calling me a morning person fucking no i'm not i know i had to get up before you every single day because i was working 
but like I am so not a morning person. But more, being a morning person or not is just how you feel. That doesn't change the immutable laws of like how light it is outside. Wait, watch her. Why? Why am I invalid? I'm just gonna drink my syrup. I think it's. Fuck, does Luigi need it too? I don't know. I don't. Let me. I don't know if we're doing like a dream battle. I guess we are because we're in the dream world. It's not light until I open the curtains or leave my room. Pat behavior. Maybe I'll use a mushroom too. On them both. Because we're going to be fighting Bowser, I guess. New rule for future BF. Can't be a morning person because I'm not getting out of bed at 8 a.m. on the weekend. But what if you guys need to go to the farmer's market? And do gay little couples activities. Also, I mean, he could be a morning person and just get up and you get up later. Like, he could get up and have his fucking Fortnite time. <laughs> no. Ooh. Morning cuddles are a requirement. <laughs> You're adorable. I feel like no matter who you end up with, it's gonna be like, like, oh, babe, I've got to get up. And then you're gonna be like latching onto him like a little guy, like mewing and making little noises and wanting cuddles. Uh, let me also save if I'm expecting boss fight. I th unless you somehow end up with a bigger cat than you are, I can't imagine him not being more of a morning person than you. Also can't be like, but I was going to make you breakfast, because even if it's 9 a.m. or something, is it going to be awake till 12? Uh, but what if he brings you a really big bag of Skittles? Ah, uh, it's the girl hole. Too early for that. This feels like this could be the end of the game, but we're still so early. Busy and sweets are both a daytime thing. Luigi judges you. <laughs> Luigi will remember this forever. I mean, if my brother was inside me, I'd remember that. I wasn't sure if that was just, like, uh, how that person's avatar looked or if your eyes were bleeding from that statement. <laughs> what does that sound like? Who goes, harm? I thought it was hard eyes. No, I think Watcher's, like, seeing the end of the universe and, like, his brain is arrow... Air for a foring. I already saw the end of the universe. Yeah, in your goober emote. You're seeing it all the time. Yeah. Oh. 
Are they gonna kiss and do the fusion dance and become Bat Bowser? And then when I'm seeing the man of my dreams or I'm zoning out. <laughs> what, you, he's gonna use Bowser as a vehicle to get out of here? <laughs> you are much stronger and evil, okay. Alaprax wrote this dialogue. Evil, evil sex. You can tell because his sound waves are gay and therefore evil. I will give you new moves. Of course, he's got to sound like Transylvanian since he's a bat. Every villain is, in fact, lemons. No, they're not fusing, they're just gonna stand next to each other, I guess. Alright, well, should I start out with Luigianary attacks right away? Let's maybe just wait a turn and see what happens. Because if he, like, spawns something, then it would be better... Oh, that was bad. If he spawns something, then it would be better to use the Luigi. Lu 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 it's hard to say. The Luigianary attack, then. Uh! Yeah, 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 like this whole horde of bats. Okay. Time to play with balls with my bro. Oh, God, that's way too far. This is like an Alaprax dream, but they're all clouds. Ah, but it wasn't excellent. It was merely great. Wow, uh, bro. POV management literally walking all over me. Really. And it was getting more bits. I hope my defense things stack. Let's just go ahead and use both of those right now. Um uh, wiggly, I'm wobbly. Alright, that sounded like we got to the highest level, maybe. Yay! We killed all the bats! No, we didn't. We got a lot of them, though. Ow. Fuck! That is hard to avoid, that last regular bout of fire. Gout of fire. Not bout. Beautiful. 
I guess I kind of need to aim that a little bit to actually get all the bats. Oh, now I did bad enough that they're doing something. How dare you break the laws of depth and get me. And they heal him. And he still gets to do his shit. Shit. Hard timing. Even though I knew what to expect this time. Fuck. Fuck. That time I can't even see it and I still couldn't dodge it. I got one more Luigi area and then I'm gonna have to fucking get some syrup or something. I really don't trust a hammer or jumping to deal with enough of those bats to have it not just snowball out of control if I let them live. And I guess I have to though for at least one turn, so that'll suck. Alright, right in the middle. God, it's hard. I, maybe it's not even possible to like get all of them properly. Yeah, all right, so they might swoop down. That's, I kind of got to keep an eye out on that. Do not heal him for five or three. Oh. Uh, reverse ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, no. You bitch. Oh, but now there's not a lot of bats. So this might be a good turn then to use a syrup jar. They haven't given a ton of items. I might need to actually go shopping. I'm gonna need to heal again soon. Oh, that wasn't. Yeah. Uh, uh. God. It like kind of locks me in there. It feels like. Hopefully, I can just ball him to death before bad things happen. I really haven't seen how much damage we've actually done to Bowser himself, and I'm not sure. I have no idea how much HP he has. Alright, right down the middle. Get him! Get him! What? No! Fuck, I didn't even, like, pop it. Oh my gosh. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck. I'm not equipped for this. I don't- I'm gonna die. I don't know that I can survive multiple fire attacks from him that will inevitably hit me. God. We gotta- if I can do better against this, maybe. No! Oh my god. Fuck. I don't want to have to restart. I hate restarting boss battles. Bit much. I'm also out of practice, but a bit much. Shut the fuck up. I don't need a hint block. Fuck you. Oh my god, all of them hit me. Literally all three of them hit me. They're going way too hard on depth mechanics in this. And on an individual level, the depth stuff is better than it's been. 
but it's still depth related and that sucks. Ah, they can't be missing Ouija's. Why? Why did it have to be gyroscope? This is probably my worst ball yet. But I got all but one of the bats that time. Imagine dodging an attack. I want to be down here because I feel like it's easier to see it, but I still can't fucking dodge it. Because, <sighs> okay, at the end, it stops becoming like a stream and then it kind of shoots out, but it shoots out fast enough that I'm like not able to process in time what I'm doing. Oh my god! Remember yesterday I was playing Astro and I wasn't complaining about games except for that little tiny bit when I was, but that was actually my fault, not the game's fault. Bits. I love Halloween, but go away! It's good that they are only healing him for chips, because if you actually had to, like, get all of those, wow. No, I was too early. Uh... It probably helps if my ball is bigger. And I'm sure since I've been missing them now a bit, that's hurting my ability to actually get all the bits. You know, look, I'm sure I wasn't that big last time. How about see, now we missed a few in the front. It's tough. What is the threshold? Like, three or under, I'm good, and then if it's more than that, apparently not. Finally. Oh, finally. Good turn. Good turn. I need to at least be able to, like, you know, keep up uh, with my bad healing. With all the shit he's doing. He only has a few bats. This would be a good turn to heal. Because then he wouldn't get healed for very much. So I think I need to use the syrup jar now. I don't think I tried to there, but I don't think I can DI in the air very much, which would be a massive help for uh, avoiding that. If I could do that. Ah, come on, Marty. Don't believe in your brother. No Luigi's on the table. Well, all but three. Is that below the attack threshold? It sure is. Now I gotta get good at this. I gotta somehow knock it so off 
center is to not be able to avoid the walls of flame. Oh, I can do it too. But I'm already getting fucking hit. Is there no purple this time? That would be preferable. No, fuck. Damn it. There was some other attack. Maybe it was the gardening robot. There was some other attack where the enemy was using like, like an alt against me. Uh, and it just, it goes on for so fucking long. Like how am I supposed to live that long without making a little bit of a mistake or two? You know, like this. I feel like it's much longer than me doing this. That's in seven. That's such a waste. Fuck. I just struggle with these games. And then, why do you get two attacks, you fucker? I don't get two attacks. It's not even really two, it's like two whole phases of attacks. My only hope is still that I'm running out the clock and that I can kill him faster than he can damage me, but like, I don't have that much health left and I'm missing a lot of fucking Luigi's, holy shit. Uh, awful, terrible ball. Hit Bowser at least. Oh, we got all the bats, I'm a gamer. Maybe that's the trick diagonal, did we beat him? That was a bit rough. Literally using 5G to turn the Bowser's gay. You literally knocked us out. Why wouldn't you take her now? So does Peach get to be rescued early in the game? And then we just still gotta stop Bowser and Antasma? walk. Yeah, it's too bad we just leave this thing open all the time while we're in there. And we also still have to do in the overworld version of the park, right? I think there was some goodies I was trying to collect once upon a time before we fought the garden robot.
the evil king of bats. I mean, I guess he sure is batty. Mario! Mario! Luigi! Luigi! Okay. Of course, it's not like we have anything better to do. My fellow beard enthusiasts. Did you say beard? Because we don't have beards, we just have mustaches. I'll take it, so we got a new hammer for each of the boys. And we're only one away from some other award. Alright, well, we'll definitely equip that, but then I want to go get more things around here. So... Striking power, if you have no lair, I do. Occasionally drops a massive iron ball. Sure. And now I get a map. What a novel fucking idea to let me have a map on my screen. Uh, and we still have not learned how to dig, right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Still don't know how to get past these guys. I probably have to loop around. I think the left was all good, but up on the right, there's... Two sections, yeah, that we haven't fully done. I mean, I'm gonna have to come back here for beans, but I wanna peep around. So I was very crudely interrupted before. Oh, shut up. Let me go. I literally fucking saved your shit. Let me rummage through your warehouse. Oh, and I have been here. Okay, well maybe this isn't going to be as important as I thought it was going to be. I might just be fussing. Maybe then the storehouse connects to that bottom area I can't seem to get to. I don't know. I guess... Let me look at the map up here. I feel like that's going to be blocked too, but we'll at least take a quick little peek up there. Not that far out of the way. Unless it is. <laughs> but I don't think it is.
Damn. Yeah, alright. I don't know what we're doing up here. This has all been a waste. We'll have to come back at a later time. We'll just go to the dry, dry desert like we're supposed to. Although maybe... I should actually go up here and go shopping. And just get like a couple more of the items that I need. Oops, I'm doing my thing. Literally have not done one stream without doing that. Got like five of those. Uh, one of some probably okay. I really, it's just the syrup jars that I wanted a couple more of for battles, but I feel like... Oh, and then I should probably do a latte, huh? And heal up as much as it grinds my gears and need to pay for that. That's so odd, and I just can't get on board with that in this series, that beyond the first two games, they just haven't had healing blocks, and that's insane to me. And I know that, like, yes, I can fight enemies and get 10 coins, and it's not that hard, so it's not like I'm ever really gonna be in a spot where I can't manage that, but, like, that feels like fucking Gen 1 Final Fantasy. You know, that's so antiquated and weird. Ah, another shop right here. Uh, which way do we want to go? I'll peek into Driftwood Shore, but I'm imagining I probably can't do much. Because this seems fairly linear. But, you know, maybe I can get like a block or two like this. Yeah, we need Tiny to get through there, and then this is just gonna be water. And we don't know how to deal with water. Oh, I guess there's an exit. Yeah, and then they're just blocking it Pokemon style. When in doubt, just fucking put guys and say, no, you can't go that way because we said so. The music here sounds very Superstar Saga, though. I mean, you know, it's the same series, so like, of course, kind of. But it reminds me of that, particularly. So one area down fully, out of like... It looks like there's maybe eight here, including the fucking airport. I mean, the, that's including the airport and the castle, right? So that would be like six. Those aside. I don't know. I'm still not entirely sure how long this is going to take us. Are these pillow fish? Ugh. Oh, I hate that they come back. That's so annoying. Okay. Got their pattern figured out, though. What does them being in sand mean? They probably behave in different ways, and that's hiding it if you don't know or remember. So, like, green guy is always gonna jump, right? No. I don't understand, then, what the point of the sand is. But we can start working on a new bros thing. Are we gonna- oh, you're large. Are we gonna fight like a sandman in the dozing sands, maybe? I don't get you guys either, what's your gimmick? 
You seem kind of normal. Why is mom sending me TikToks? Go to sleep, Uber. I don't know those challenges if I'm gonna like really fuss with them at some point or just get what I get. Probably depends on the rewards because I have to like turn them in somewhere, don't I? Uh, we just did bad points, so we're doing power now. Hopefully, I can feel that. Maybe we'll get the digging move soon. I feel like one, you know, we get it usually not too late in the games, and also desert would be a good place for it. Uh, let's deal with you. I also got some pants, and I want to see what that shock bomb is. Probably a battle item. Okay, so the red one's on top, if that fucking helps me at all. Maybe the little jump means they all go, and then if they don't do that, they default to whatever their normal pattern is. I just don't get it. How do I do with 11 before 10? Bit silly. All right, yeah, shock bomb maybe makes them dizzy. It's always a maybe. And then expert wear. Increases defense based on my expert challenge rate. Oh, and it's down by seven. I guess that makes sense since it's trying to be conditional. I'm going to stick with the cozy wear. How do I... Can I even see right now? Like what my overall percentage is? It just says total 99. I'm going to need to look at... how that calculates and if those are any good. They can't be that good if we're getting them early on. Or, you know, at least they can't be good early on, you know? They might be a decent scaling piece of equipment. I would love to buy new badges. Well, I would love to just have them, but I'll buy them if I must. Oh. Oh. A thousand coins for a pair? Fuck. 500? Let's go lower. 200 I could do, but keep going. Free. Free because we're saving the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. One coin. You guys better not fuck this up for me. I will buy it for one coin. Okay, even better. That's the attitude that every fucking RPG protagonist should have. You should be lucky. Lucky enough to give me your wares. No, I know how. Fuck you, I know how. You don't have any more right now, do you? Aha! Okay. Uh, wow, a lot. Uh... This is not... specific enough. The Master Badge seems good and it's not too expensive. I suppose I should really just, like, look on the wiki, but... Maybe I'll just buy cheap ones for now. Neither of those sound that good. The silver badge, maybe, but I just don't know what it does yet. Uh, I will make a mental note, though, to maybe come back here. 
So, 50%. It's going to be harder to pull off. And then a BP one would be great, too, if I'm, like, really not getting hurt in a certain fight. Starter Master Bronze. So Bronze is, like, even weaker if I need it to be. Barrier, barrier, increases defense. So it's, it's similar effects, at least. It's like restoratives, hit enemies, defensive stuff. Makes sense. I want to try the 51 to see how that goes. Uh, actually, where is my... Oh, my badge meter is very low, so that's fine. Yeah. Because that Bowser boss fight aside, I feel like I don't need the heal so often. And so, I don't know if it really works out better to get the 50, you know, like it's more at once. So like going into a boss with that full would be good. Whereas just getting it, in theory, the smaller one could be better. I don't know. We'll find out. Right now, it seems like this is barely filling up. Though that was kind of true with the other one as well. It's hard when uh, there's just like nothing to see in the beginning. Give this boy, no, I needed a four, come on. He's already too weak as is. May I don't I'm just thinking about his like dream attacks and how they work. I wonder if it's better to make Luigi more powerful in this one. Because then you get to capitalize on like all of those hits that all the dream copies are doing. But you know, conversely, maybe Mario's base power is better and that's like a modifier, it's hard to say. I don't know how it maths out. I ultimately I probably want them to be kind of close, right? So that's not a bad goal to have. Can I hold this forever? I feel like maybe that was a change in this one, is that I can just hold the hammer forever. It is definitely going up slower, and I mean, I knew that was how this worked, but that's still... Unfortunate. Where do we want to go? And I even go this way. No, I can come back this way, but I cannot go that way. They're doing they're doing their shit again. Let me have easy pathing around, please. Unless we had a bros move, maybe. Probably not. Probably it's just going to be hard to get around. Did we really need a cutscene about that? I don't think so. You fucking fishes are too fast. Excellent 10. Thank you. Thank you. So excellent. I don't even know what we're talking about. Now all of a sudden, I have a bunch. How did that go up that much? I mean, a bunch, relatively. It's still a very small amount of that meter filled.
I don't feel like I'm over leveled or anything, but the XP has felt consistently shit this whole stream. I don't know if that was true last time as well, since it's been a week and change. I really don't remember. There's the gate that I would need to get under, and there's a, a pillow. Yeah. Teach me a move, you goobers. Oh, well, I guess we'll just fight these guys. My hammer attacks are fine. Theirs apparently aren't good enough to actually get them. They just don't know how to put that Mario Bros. oomph behind it. Or that, that oomph, rather. You're very easy to fight. I like you guys. Little bit on the tanky side, but not hard to uh, avoid. They do look like they have drill heads, so definitely you could teach me a drill move. That would be so great. Yeah, teach me to drill. Teach me to drill, my bro. Yes. Are we fully underground and we just have a hand now? That's goofy. Alright, well, uh, if I'm not in the middle of something when we end stream, then we can backtrack and get beans off stream. Who's a naughty little earth? I love that. It does look real silly, though. Oh, and now, contextually, we get tiny. I like that, that that's kind of like one move now. But I'm sure I'll also be annoyed at some point when I can't do it when I want to. Oh my god, I don't need to see it again. I already understand the inputs, you fucks. I'm not five. Shut up, I know how to play. Are you standing on top of the bean hole? So that I can't do it right now? You fucking toad. They're gonna make me listen to them talk about beans. Um, I don't know if going through that gate does anything for me. I guess I can get this item. But can we get the pillow? Sure can. Now that we're reaching the point where those are optional too, I have to make the decision of if I want to do all of those on stream or if I want to be like, nah, we'll do them off stream. I mean, I know a lot of them are supposed to be short, so there's that. Oh, I went, I did the same thing again. want me? Yes, I know. I know. I know. Oh, I'm exasperated because I know. All right. Let's do the pillow because these are probably going to be short. So then I don't mind. I guess that's maybe a good line to draw, is like, if I see them, I'll just do them. But I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to find all of them on stream. 
I'm hoping that they're pretty much just like one room affairs. Like that one other one we saw. Oh, uh, it's two rooms or more. Hey, there's my random ball. Very silly. Pretty good ball rate so far. How do I avoid you guys? I don't. I jump on you. All right. Oh, okay. I. So what? That one I had to avoid. The second one. That is a little bit much for some regular enemy attack. Three turns it took to kill you. Or more. I counted three though. Whoa! Oh, maybe that's why it seems like it's happening so much, because there's so many of these guys. I really don't understand how you're supposed to fucking read their patterns. I don't like them very much. I, I totally fucking blocked that, you fucker. I'm just fucking dying. And 80 XP is not that much better than the 60s I was getting before. Maybe fondle Luigi's forehead? Uh, I haven't learned to do that yet. I don't know if that's going to do anything. And I can't do that mid-battle, right? Oh. Alright, come on, you're dragging this out. Give me control again. Let's go. This is more complicated than I wanted. Maybe this is a good reason to not do pillows right away. I don't mind so much that they had a quick little cutscene of me like, oh no, and then running, but like, make it snappy. Starlight, star bright, star Luigi in the sky tonight. Do they give me like a star power up maybe? Yahoo! Yeah. No, we get a bunch. Ha, let's okay. go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. 
<laughs> and Luigi came forth in the sky and said, Oh yeah! So are we gonna make you into a big ball? What are we doing? But lining up one by one. No, you're very tall. I mean, sure, for the coins, but what about the enemies? Okay. I don't like how unstable this feels. Cool, thanks for the tutorialized fuck up. God, this game just is tedious, isn't it? Shut up, I know how this works. There's barely any balance to lose other than you tutorializing it. I can barely see that button. Somehow a bunch of him kind of sounds like Waluigi. I need for one to occasionally fall off. That would be funny, yeah. If this were like... Well, I don't know. Brothership's still very cartoony. I could see in something like Astrobot, for example, if you had like a big moving ball of a bunch of them, that like you'd have like one or two constantly falling off and getting back on. There's just always something to ask every single one of them, isn't there? Dozite. The fuck is that? I guess I needed to do her, so it's good that I did, and maybe that's why hers was a little bit more involved. Ah, good thing there were gay rocks. What is this? Steven Universe? But um tch. Okay, so I should just keep doing the pillows as I see them. The dead gay rocks cause cracks.
I wonder what the longest streak of things they want you to do in this is. That was a bad division. I need to still get that top guy first. There we go. In these pieces slow. I feel like this is a large area. Unless we get five at once or something. Alright, and you're Gucci. I don't need to do anything with you. Um, were there any beans, like, right away on the previous screens? I guess I can find out later. I don't want to spend too much time backtracking looking for shit. Girl bossing quite hard. Britta, is she brittle? Oh, now we need four to continue onward. Four little dream rocks. Why is your dialogue so quiet? That's where it's at, lady. <laughs> hey, they all got holes. You gotta fuck the holes, Mario. There's a whole upper area that once again I can't get to. Oh, this game. You gotta just let me go places. I feel like the pieces are gonna be fucking endless if we're finding three different sets for Mario, Luigi, and Luiginary attacks. Uh, consider that me asking, because I'm using it now.
Okay, right, so it's just gonna go when I just gotta press buttons. Long, thin switch. That's a station. Drill the station to get off. Okay. Sure. I think that all makes sense. That was very easy. But I assume there will be more of these coming up. God, let me breathe. Let me breathe. Let me just play the game. This is such a stark difference in like Superstar Saga. You would just go places in this game. It's like every screen. Someone's fucking babbling at me. These dang block people just won't shut up and keep involving me in their affairs. I thought they were fun in Bowser's and said sorry. Now I'm not liking them so much. I wasn't done with that screen yet. Has time to look at their phone when they're looking at their Nintendo 3DS. I don't need to work on my timing. Shut up. I got this. The pausing makes it hard. Whoa. I have to get off and do that? Sheesh. Yeah, and an enemy that I can probably drill to death. Uh, a weird little remote control block I've never seen before. And pillows, apparently. This is gonna be a whole thing. I'm gonna be here for like an hour doing this shit. Oh, they're... They call it. Cherish sure, sure. Getting paid to do this doesn't sound bad, though. Yes, and I realize that's a pillow. Can I do that after? Yes, I'll do that now. Oh my god, this game. It's getting more on rails as time goes on. Literally, we are on rails right now. The fucking, uh... The commentary could not be more poignant. Surely we can't just jump at that, but like, why not try? Let's look at the mappy. To activate the story, please press A five times that we allow you. Five? I wish five. More like 50. I wonder how many unique Luigianary things there's gonna be by the end of this. You could have just let me see that his nose is sparkling. Do we need a whole thing telling me to do this? Like, oh my god. Hmm. 
Mm, what can we use this for? I don't know. Maybe I, the player, could figure it out. And Luigi? Oh, because it is a bit penile, isn't it? That's, uh, that's the OnlyFans version of this, is instead of tugging on his nose, you tug on his bits, and stuff happens. Okay, so we're just gonna do a big loop around to get up there. And I see some breakable blocks, not that these drills can move at all. Oh, that's nice. I can just jump on it and then he'll get, like, sucked into it. A convenience in a land of many inconveniences. Is that all the point of being there? Alright. Whoopee, 10 coins. And more of these chuckle fucks. And a robot. What do you do, robot? No bomb, no bomb, fuck you. Time to heal, I think. And he even blew up them. Fuck, I'm very bad at that. Do I need to go down there? I wouldn't mind skipping a couple of these guys. Fuck, I can't tell. I should check. No, I didn't, but we'll fight this guy, I guess. Good hammer practice, if nothing else. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm on, like, whatever the farthest lined up guy is so that uh, I have time for them to, like, shrink enough. I guess that's the trick to this. Oh, you switched it up on me. I feel like every time I'm hitting it, but I'm always just, like, a little bit uh, slow. On to defense now. That was a better general stat boost. So I guess while I'm, uh, oh. Fuck. That was a lot. They went overboard with the regular enemy attacks in this. There's way too much going on. Um, what was I gonna say? 
I don't fucking remember. Oh, I guess if I can start battles with a hammer, that's good. Especially in the dream world, because then I have, like, a chance for my thing to fire off. My iron ball maneuver. Fuck you. Oh, so this just pays me out by itself eventually? That's handy if that's the case. I do have a few new pieces of gear to look at, so let's do that. I think it was all gloves, maybe. How about 30% if you haven't taken damage? Well, I am not going to be not taking damage. I guess the gloves can go in a couple slots, though. How by 20%? Let's do some quick math here. 56 times 1.2 is 67 versus... Oh, I was, I was thinking that was a plus nine. It's defensive, it's not offensive. So my math is pointless. Then we don't want to do anything with that, and I don't think I would want to switch out my pants. We could give Luigi more defense, but I feel like the coin thing is probably better. Especially since he's like our offhand boy. Okay, fine. Yes, I know centrifugal force. I get it. Admittedly, this will be hard to time, I think. But maybe I just only spin him kind of fast and not too fast. Yee. Okay, that worked out. I wonder if it's as simple as just doing it like... No, I was thinking, you know, like if I pull left and then let go, like I can then count on him going left. It is, yeah, Watcher was also saying it's chap like I heard you. Shut up, I know how to use my hammer. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm so tired of tutorials. This game is really bad about tutorials, I finally understand. How was your day, Bubby? That looks like a thing we've seen before, yeah. I probably could have figured out pretty fucking quick that I needed centrifugal force, and if I hadn't, like, if I fall on the spikes three times or something, because I can't figure it out, then tell me. Have a little bit of contextual tutorialization. It's not that hard to figure out. And yet. Alright, if they don't fucking stop me again, my plan was just to roll around the tracks and do all of the track stuff. And then do, uh... All the ground stuff. I don't- I can- I can count. You didn't need to do that, that's okay. They're so baby. They're so baby. Uh, yeah. Let's do what I just said, let's forget the ground stuff. Doing fine, not feeling well, just woke up from a nap. General? Like are, like, are you getting sick, or just are you having that thing where you wake up and you're just like, you existing feels terrible. 
I've been, probably because I've been streaming a lot more lately, I'm not, like, moment to moment, I'm not feeling that much more tired, but I'm really feeling it in the mornings. Uh, and so it's hard to, like, get, get motivation to get up and get, like, a good long workout in. I've been phoning it in a little bit. Getting sick, aw. Yeah, I, uh, mom wants to figure out, like, what the best shot is right now, but we definitely want to make sure that we get our fall vaccinations before we, uh, travel, especially since we're probably going to be flying out to Chicago, which I am, in, in a, I don't want to get sick sense, very not excited to be doing an airport, probably, but I think that just makes a lot more sense than driving down there. She better still pay me for doing all these rocks. Went to my first ever concert and I think I caught something. That's too bad. Was it a fun concert at least? What uh, what concert was it? Let's turn that back around. I want to hit that station and uh, flip this. Did you get someone's phone number? I love how much we all want Hershey to just get some. didn't stay the full time because my parking was running out. Oh, that's stinky. Oh, I guess we're blocked by fucking cacti. Oh, I have to go back and hammer it again. <sighs> okay. Okay, I guess. What am I doing? I'm going right past it. So I gotta remember to do that later. Any path changes down here? Doesn't look like it. I did talk to people, but nah. Imagine talking to people, I would never. Cries in being single. Where? Oh shit, that was the station right there. Go back! Oh, I don't even need to ride this around. I can just summon it when I get where I want to go. That's true. Future funk artist named Night Tempo. He remixes a lot of 80s J-pop. I don't entirely know what future funk is, but that sounds really cool. Remix J-pop sounds like stuff I would be into. Level for Ouija. Only one bros point though. Fuck you, give me more. The only concert I ever went to was a Ninja Sex Party concert, which I believe was in Chicago. Uh, and I was like, this is cool. I like Ninja Sex Party. I like supporting them. Uh, concert, not my thing though. Kind of loud, a lot of people. I would rather be sitting than fucking standing up somewhere. Oh, is this gonna be blocked too? Okay, no, good. I can get over that, at least.
Shit, if I had just broken that rock, I could have just gotten off. Let me turn around. And then we'll get off, because I think there's not a lot I need to do in here. Wait, how do I launch? I gotta flip the panel over, okay. Did the hammer. No special effects, but it's probably stronger than Luigi's. So that's good. And I think that's all I need to do with here. And then that'll launch me back over to the other side for whatever benefit I get from that. Ah, yes, I can get onto this track now. Oh, there's so much going on with these. Uh, actually, we can probably keep riding that. Fuck, I missed that rock though. At some point, she's gonna want me to have done all the rocks. Fuck. Alright, that one's already cracked. Let's go back then. Oh, wait, no, 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 I don't want to go all the way back. This is not convoluted in a fun way. This is convoluted in a, this is really annoying and I wish I could just walk around way and not have to deal with this thing at all. All right, we are gonna need to switch shit around then. And I might as well do ground stuff, since this is a dead end. I don't remember where all the beans were, so we're just gonna do a little lap around the tracks and scan. Scan for bean. I guess some enemies. I'm not necessarily worried about killing every enemy here, though. What are you up to, Wiggler Cactus? Nope, didn't want to jump. Oopsies, oopsies. So countering chills him out. Oh no, now he's too angry. Did I, I thought I got special like gloves from those. Did I actually get those and look at them? Yeah, the perfect pal gloves, okay, right, but this is not the kind of game where I can just not take damage. I'm not nearly good enough. First, did you see, uh, I, I apparently, as of, like, today or a day ago or something, pretty much 
right after you beat the boss, uh, the final boss of Elden Ring, they made him a little bit easier. Just kind of like across the board, they like lowered damage, made his windows a little bit easier, stuff like that. I was like, what timing? But I guess now you get the bragging rights of like doing it raw. I don't know that they had made any significant changes up until that just now. How the fuck do we get on the other rail? I don't understand. Maybe I have to like, DI it? As if to say we made Mr. Bomb suffer, now we can make it easier. They need to have a switch for, or title unlocked for doing those things on original. If Elden Ring was a more multiplayer game, like it, it is, but it's not like, you're not in a lobby with people or anything like that. But it would be cool to somehow acknowledge people who did it, like, the hard way. No, go back. Go back. Go back. Maybe... If I get off here, can I make this work for me somehow? I feel like I should just be able to go any way I want at any point here, but clearly it doesn't work that way. I'm just gonna try DI'ing to the left. No, it always goes right, why? Oh, but if I do this, now it goes left. I'm a genius. Alright, and then I just do the other one to leave now when I want to. Tank I complained in Dev's cave-in for a game was meant to be hard. I still... I don't remember if you were around when I was fighting it at all, Watcher. Um, but it has what I am praising the Neo problem. As in, like, the game Neo. Uh, it's a bit too anime. His attacks where he's fucking, like, doing flash step and, like, teleporting around to leaving after images and stuff. Like, I was never able to fully visually comprehend what was happening. I managed to eventually kind of get lucky and win with like literally a sliver of health left. I think no more extra potions like truly a one more hit would have been the death of me no matter what. And I had, you know, just got enough practice, optimized my build a bit, but it was real tough. So I don't think it's unreasonable that they... What am I fucking doing? Uh, I don't think it's unreasonable that they nerfed it a little bit, because that feels like it needed some nerfing. Fuck me. Let's just... Let's just die against a regular enemy, what the fuck? Surely I can retry from here, right? You're not gonna make me, like, low to save. I will say, despite my frustration, I don't think it needed to be nerfed since it felt like all this were my fault. However, second phase shouldn't make my PC shit itself. I don't know. I, uh, I should maybe, like, go back and... I'm just gonna restart. I'm not losing all this health. This is dumb. Um... I need to go back and watch how I, like, felt fighting Millennia, because I feel like this was way worse. And it, it never felt entirely fair to me.
Fixing visual with rebalancing one to 100%. Attack should be acceptable. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like, the specific issue I had with, like, the kind of shadow clone flash tap stuff that was really hard to see visually, I don't know that that got, like, slowed down, but I think maybe, like, the windows between attacks, you know, got, like, slightly widened or something. Oh, I get the point of that now. Still awful XP. What are we even looking at here? One room, three balls. The, the big difference off the top of my head between uh, this final boss and Millennia was that with Millennia, I feel like I was able to use my strengths as a mage, and I was also able to make use of summons, uh, whereas both of those things were working against me in the Rodan fight. I had to forego summons, and I had to really uh, like use the fastest weakest spells I could to manage to get a hit in. I still hate Millennium more because Waterfowl's dance is legitimately unfair and I stand by that. My method of countering it was slapping her around to stop her from using it. I'm assuming that's the really long one. Um, which I remember vaguely, but not in specifics. And I think... Uh, the, like, the Shadow Step battle art thing I have on my offhand sword, I think was ultimately my, my solution to that. Like, use that and dodge and just really go to town on doing both of those. Well, at least I dodged it. I need to just heal. I need to use my 50. Average human has a short reaction time. That's for instant reaction without animation, which is what I would... Understand it needs to be the given window. Yeah. Fuck. I did that completely wrong. Two, three second animation before attack doesn't need fixing. I feel like by the time I finished, I was able to like recognize the patterns and stuff. So it wasn't so much the lead into the attacks that was the problem. It was more when he would be doing a ton of shit at once and it would be hard to visually discern. Like, again, the shadow clone flash deppy stuff was my biggest problem. That was the one thing that I never feel like I completely wrapped my head around. The rest of it I definitely got better with practice and more or less felt okay in terms of like, yeah, you just need to kind of get good. But the flashy stuff was tough. Are you anything, glowing ball? No. Two to three clones attacking that are unbound, rolling on another is difficult. No, uh, it's not literal clones. What it, like... He would, he would, like, kind of flash, dash at me, and then there would be, like, a bunch of after images. Um, so it, it was, it wasn't clones, there was only one of him, but it felt visually very hard to read because of the clones. Or the after images, rather. I should stop saying clones. Because take, take an attack that is already fairly difficult at a base level and then make it so because of the clones you can't really tell when you're getting hit and when you need to dodge and stuff and then you have a very difficult bad situation right because that's hence why i'm calling it like the neo anime problem the reason dark souls bosses work in an extreme generalization 
is because they're big and slow. And so they're gonna fucking hit you really hard, but if you, like, pay attention and learn the patterns and read them and stuff, then you can time your dodges. And, yes, as you go up in difficulty, they get faster, their attacks get harder to read, etc. This was just, in my mind, over the line of what was reasonable. And on kind of a similar note, again, in a loose, broad sense, uh, that's kind of like what Hershey's talking about with the waterfowl dance for millennia. Um, that one, maybe not necessarily as hard to read, but it just goes on for forever. So then it's like, okay, the rules we established is that you do something and I dodge it, but how am I supposed to dodge it when it just never fucking stops, right? And so for me, again, with my little uh, extra dodge I got, basically, having two of them, I was kind of able to make it work by just, like, chaining one after the other. And then I could just kind of get enough distance that I could always stay away from her, so I never was really dodging it in a precise window. I was just maintaining distance. Loser, you hit yourself. Haha. Uh -huh. I generally dislike attacks where the counter is don't be close when they use it. Yeah. To some, I don't feel like the idea of like, hey, you have to plan a little bit is completely invalid. But I agree where I would much rather we make this a game of like reaction time than like, oops, I wasn't prepared, and so now I'm fucked. Because then that feels bad, right? If you're not prepared, then you literally just might not be able to do anything to save yourself. The other problem is your healing factor. Does she heal? Is she kind of, like, always regenerating? That sounds familiar now that you mention it. Yeah, so you, you know, you can't even, like, zone that aggressively, because if that's the case, then you need to stay close to her and keep chipping away at her. If you want to do a shield build and block everything she heals on every hit she lands. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's nasty. All her attacks do lifesteal and her second phase also applies rot. Yeah, that's a lot. Let me hit a station. I want to observe the map here for a moment. So we did... Let me zoom out. We did that left area, and then we have these that loop. I can't go over to the right, and then I think I need to walk to get to the center. And then there's shit up there, so... I might as well do any one of these screens. No, I don't want the world map. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's just do foot things. I also fear if dad had more poise than you should have considering Mikello was using Mog's body. Uh, meaning because Mog was like a mage guy, so he should be weak or whatever. When I was experimenting with stuff, I did try using my rocks still. Uh, and eventually gave up on that in favor of using ice. So I iced him instead of, like, breaking his poise. 
Um, I don't know if I have strong feelings one way or another about it being too much or not. He was just a lot in every sense. Hopefully I can uh, kind of carry the skill I built with him when I get into Lies of P next month. Because I'm planning on doing that. And then the DLC is supposed to be coming soon, TM. So we'll see when that happens. Another pillow. More like Rudan is a beefy fucker and Moog big but not as strong physically, so you'd think for lower purposes it would be lower. Yeah, yeah, that's kinda what I meant. Uh so I can I can see what you mean there. I don't know. I'm not up to snuff on all the rules for incestual possession. Two robots. I guess I should hammer so you blow up. Oh, you're already doing something. Shit. Okay, cool. Can I heal or are you going to do something and kill me? I didn't even see which bomb that was. Cool. I love having one HP. Rayana's so beefy, he had to learn gravity magic. He could still ride his dying horse to make himself later. Oh, is that why he has that? I didn't know. Fuck. Shit. A lot of balls, though. I need the robots to be dead. Oh, oh, oh. Stop doing three bombs! One is plenty. That in... The holdup of all the falling stars, which is why when you beat him the first time a bunch of stars fall on Closet Crater. Oh, I didn't realize that either. I never did. I kind of wanted to do like an Elden Ring lore, like catch up stream or something before I uh, did the DLC, but I never did. So I feel like I maybe don't have a hugely great idea of what all's going on in general beyond some basics. Yeah, maybe I still will someday. Not that I'm expecting more from the property anytime soon. You know, they could do an Elden Ring 2 if they wanted someday. But I don't expect that to be on the horizon. Okay, let me go over here and then try that. Or do we have to be up top? No, we can do it here. Or can I? Can I get up here? Fuck. Mario. I guess I have to fall down there. Or can I ride it? Well, well I already spun it again. Not that that helps me. Yeah, let's go up there. Alright, and the other rock is the one down there. Yeah, so how do I fall? I don't think I can. I don't understand how this works. Does this at least let me spin the whole contraption? Yep, 
Yes. Okay. Oh, I get it. I need to just like line myself up. So if I go over like one, two, three, four, then we can get those coins. Nope. Five, I guess. And not that I know if that was worth it for just a 10. Sneeze fetish is a thing, right? I wonder if there's people who are just like, Oh, I love making Luigi sneeze. Yeah, yeah, give me- Oh, you were an extra one, I guess. You weren't important. You don't have a stone. Bruh. I think there was a bean or something over here. I guess, blocks. OCD Mario and his beans, listen, I need them. Clearly, since I'm not good at this. Like, I haven't taken the time to find every single bean in the game when I've been playing these, because that is maybe a bit much. Uh, but I definitely need all the help I can get since I'm not good at it. Go the other way. I feel like since I've been uh, losing weight at some point recently, my, like, ass area has gotten less fat. And so I feel like I'm, I'm like, sitting on my tailbone more. Like, I feel like my tailbone is more pronounced, and now I'm just, like, my ass gets tired after I stream for too long. Oh, so beans are okay, but Luigi can't have his depression points. I mean, if they help us in battle, he can have depression points. I, on the weight thing, I'm at a weird point where, like, I still have a little bit of tummy fluff that I want to get rid of. Uh, but other areas of my body, I almost feel, like, too skinny and bony. Like, I'm, I'm definitely at a point where, in general, I don't really need to keep losing weight. I need to just, like, fucking, I don't know, fix my leg or whatever so I can work out hard and build muscle. I... I... We've eaten burgers. Like, trust me, I'm not... I'm not, like, not eating. Um, it's just that as I'm continuing to make an effort to lose weight, it's unfortunate and a little bit goofy that my body is working that way where it's like some areas are too skinny and some are too fat because I feel like we should be getting rid of all the fat first, right? Before we hit too skinny in certain places. Apparently my body disagrees. I was jumping with two of them slower. What is going on over here? That dude is just fucking hippie hoppy hooing in and out of the sand.
don't think we've been here yet. Nope. Oh, yeah. How are we gonna break this? We have to, like, fucking send the thing flying or something. Pay me. Ooh, 600 coins. Yeah, let's go. That's a nice even number, too, so that feels like we probably got all of them. Hi, Awesome Ocelot. Welcome. How are you doing? I, I've been enjoying the series. Um... Probably Bowser's Inside Story is my favorite so far. Though I had some gripes. I'm kind of hard to please though. Like I always have gripes even when I'm having fun. Um, I like a lot of what's going on here. I just wish it wasn't so over tutorialized, which is like the coldest take because I'm pretty sure everybody feels that way. Uh, the main issue I had with Bowser's Inside Story is that it was Unfortunate that by playing as both Bowser and the bros, going going through points in the story, you would sometimes just be like locked out of using one for a while. And it's like, like, oh, I wanted to go back and get that item I just missed before accidentally like progressing the story too far. And now I can't because like I'm not going to be Bowser for another several hours or something. And then I also felt like with that one, they started doing a lot more like one way level design where you could only, you know, you'd like fall off a cliff or something and then you had to go all the way back around some long way to get back. Um, so nothing like crazy sinful, but those were a bit annoying. Oh, and then the giant Bowser fights, specifically the one against the tower, that was, that was rough. Because for some reason what I was doing wasn't good enough and so I would like get him in the lake whatever and I was doing like the Jojo's like ura, 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 punches and he just like wouldn't stay down and so that uh took me like 45 minutes or something to do or was it an hour and 45 I don't remember watch your might Bowser barely has any regular boss fights I could see that being an issue too yeah um but like I said I'm just kind of a very like Hard to please, I always have issues type guy. D do you remember, Watcher, when we were fighting the tower as Bowser? How long that took? Was it like 45 or an hour 45? Uh, Monty Tran, I actually did it in one go. It was just the tower that gave me trouble. That wasn't a movie, no. Okay, 45. Bowser's head story is my favorite video game of all time, but I agree it has issues. It, like, I just got off of playing Astro Bot yesterday. Um, first game in a long time that really maybe doesn't have any issues. I thought it did at one point, but that was because I forgot I had a power up to slow time, and so that was on me. Um, the other stuff was so minor, like, hey, this sound effect was a bit loud, but. Uh, let me chill for Astro Bot again. Everybody play Astro Bot. Go buy yourself a PS5 Pro and play Astro Bot as a treat. The mini games in general, uh, I was not a fan of, but the uh, if we're counting the big Bowser fights as mini games, the tower one was egregious in my mind because it was just really hard to pull off. Out of curiosity, have you played Paper Mario? Because that that's more my series, uh, and I'm now just playing most of these for the first time. B blind ish yeah because uh so i've played superstar saga on wii u virtual console in college like 10 years ago i played a teeny bit of partners in time and then ended up putting that down for one reason or another um so from whatever that point was onwards in partners in time this is my first time playing them all though i've been around on the internet and seen bits and pieces so like i knew Antasma was the bad guy in this before starting it, for example. Um, 
So not not truly 100% completely blind, but like mostly blind. Uh, and we're marathoning them all, so I've been... I went real hard on the first three. Now I'm kind of splitting my time between them and other uh, game releases. But I will be getting this and Paper Jam done in time to play Brothership when that comes out. Extremely close second behind Bowser's Inside for my favorite video game of all time. I played over Paper Mario except Color Splash. Okay, you're really not missing much after Super Paper Mario. The new ones are not good. I wish they would get better. I hope that Thousand Year Door sold very well so that they make more. Uh, and also just the state of Mario RPGs in general, right? Like, they did the Mario RPG remake. Uh, they're doing Brothership. I hope they just make a bunch more Mario RPGs. I think Origami King was a step in the right direction, but the battle system is very polarizing and I grew to not like it. Like, it felt way too easy early on and then by the end it felt way too confusing and there wasn't a good middle ground for me. Uh, so not liking the battle system, I think, skewed me a lot in the not liking it direction. Plus, it still had the very generic problem, uh, which clearly Brothership is doing like random weird characters. So like, hopefully we're not stuck in the weird space anymore. It kind of did. I haven't played Sparks of Hope. Uh, it's on my to-do list. I did play the first Rabbids one. I might do that sooner rather than later. Granted, that'll still be a few months out at minimum, because uh, I just got enough other shit on my plate. But since I've been playing so many Mario RPGs recently, I figure, why not play that one too? Because <laughs> um, at this point, finishing this uh, Paper Jam, Brothership when it comes out, and then Sparks of Hope, are the only Mario RPGs that I'll have not played. As an entire issue, the Mario characters feel sidelined a bit, but still a great game. Uh, do you feel like they are more sidelined than in the first one? Or is it about the same? Because the first one I thought was fine. In terms of like the Mario and the Rabbids characters both getting used. Though, you know... I had my preferred party, and I feel like I mostly stuck to it. I don't remember if they did a good job of incentivizing you to swap characters, which I always appreciate when games do. Um, like, my go-to example for that is that in Hyrule Warriors, they made all these DLC characters, and then there was, like, no reason to use them in all of this character-specific challenge mode stuff. They fixed that in the uh, different versions they made eventually, but... I completed that game once and I don't really need to do it again. It's about the same, but the rabbits have dialogue now, so it feels worse. Ah, uh, are you not much of a fan of the rabbits? I kind of like them, you know? I'm I'm someone who will, like, watch Minions movies and stuff. So I'm, uh, I'm down for just, like, little guys making noises. I mean, my best friend is that, so clearly that's something I'm interested in. They actually had Mario species as enemies. That I like. Yeah, the enemies were definitely too rabid focused in the first one. I like them now that they have personalities. Gotcha. Um, is this gonna do what I want? Level up Marge, I just think they're neat, yeah. Oh shit, what have I done? Can I get back up there? I so wish I could just have the map all the time. There are a lot of times when Bowser and other Mario characters should talk, but they don't, and Beepo talks for them. Oh, yeah. That's probably just Nintendo being weird about their protagonists. Mario especially. The other ones at least seem to have no problem talking in, uh... I mean, I guess Luigi doesn't talk in this, but, like, he talks in Paper Mario. Beep. Oh, like, actual... I, was anybody voiced in the first one? I don't think so. It's been ages now. I think I played that. Maybe not at launch, but it's been a while. 
What, uh, what does he sound like? I feel like I could easily see Bebo being something people would be annoyed by, like a la Paimon or something. High-pitched high British posh. I like British, so I would probably have a good time with that. Uh, Re, my best babbling friend. He is British, though he's very low-pitched than high. Not pretentious, though. He's a northerner. But uh, yeah, I could see pretentious getting grading after a while. Especially if it's, like, directed at you. The way that, like, Starlow is always dunking on Luigi. Rabbit Yoshi and Yoshi don't return? Oh, that's too bad. I probably knew that and forgot it. But I think you get to play as Bowser, right? So that's a nice addition. I don't know that any of the Mario, like, little floating guys are that endearing to me. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, who we have in Paper Mario. It's like Goombella, basically. Dream Bird is awesome. He kind of has a similar vibe to who's the bean guy, Prince Peasley? Is that the right name? I like... He kind of feels like a diet version of that to me. Hey, it was its boss time. He gets better? Okay, yeah, we'll see. I'm still pretty early on. I guess, I'm assuming since he said see your supervisor, we need to actually go back to her. Unlike Starlo, he actually does important stuff. Starlo did lift us up that one or two times in the last game, I don't know if... And I guess she's doing Luigi's nose in this. Fire flower. And that's just for Luigi. Alright. Uh, I mean, this seems like it's the same as before, but let's give it a practice. Oh, both of them. Wait, what? How is this working? Is this meant to alternate or be in sync or what? Let me, I need to read that again. It's very different. When the fireballs get big, throw them. Oh, so am I waiting? If I throw big ones, it's bonfire time mash. Yeah, I think I maybe need to wait. This is why we do the demos. Wait, why are you, like, playing it for me? Hello? Am I stupid? Does Demo always do it for you? I want to practice it. It sucks that Ice Flower is meant to return but got cut. Ah, it's, it's never fun when stuff gets cut. Yeah, alright, I understand. Harder to pull off, though. I feel like I can't alternate. I have to like have my finger ready to go on both buttons. Yeah, let's try that again. I want to get at least one excellent. They're pretty close in timing, but not exactly. Man, I'm still getting good. But Bishop's setting reminds me of this game so much. They're both islands. Or, uh, you know, one at least versus multi. Yeah, no, 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 I understand what I'm doing now. Uh, it's just the execution of it. Because, like, they're awkwardly timed.
Like, I can't always do Luigi's and then Mario. Sometimes Mario's gets faster. I Do I really have to get all of them to get an excellent? Fuck. Paper Jam has it more like Bowser's head story. What, uh, you said you didn't love Paper Jam that much. Was it just, like, generic story for you? Because that's what I've heard from other people. Since it was, like, very Mario mandates feeling. The crossover should have been a lot of fun, but I feel like by doing just the most generic barebone stuff, they sort of shot themselves in the foot, squandered the opportunity. I think I already fucked up by not getting a big one. Actually, how are you supposed to do this? This is... I feel like this seems not that hard, but it's actually really hard. Story isn't the worst part, it's generic characters and settings. Yeah, okay. Typical Mario mandate shit. I truly hope we're just fully out of that now. Badges and level up bonuses get removed. What do you do then in that one? Like, is there any kind of replacement or is there just like less? Ah, that was too early. I that's I feel like that's what I need to do is kind of like be a bit early, but not too early. Ow, battle cards. Yeah, I hated that. I assume that works like in uh like sticker star and color splash and stuff. Cause that would have been about when it came out, like around color splash. Or that would have been like the closest game, at least to it. There! Alright. Fuck me. It's like badges, but worse. Alright, that's all. That's gonna be my practice on that for now. Let's see if I can fucking pull it off when I need to in a boss. If not, we might just still end up using Shell for a while. Ultimately, there are some bros attacks that I never completely vibe with. You have to be lucky enough to draw the card you need. Oh, that sounds awful. We'll, uh, we'll find out in a couple weeks how I feel about that. In practice. Can I not get up here? We haven't learned to high jump yet. Oh, fuck. There just isn't level up bonuses, so levels feel less epic. I guess... I don't mind that so much as long as it's balanced accordingly. You know, like, essentially, if you just get more points naturally, that's fine, because I don't particularly like the level-up bonus wheel in these games. I would rather that we, uh, we just level up normally. Even the soundtrack is the worst, although it's still pretty good. Yeah, I feel like Mario music has never been bad. Um, if we're gonna be fighting that, I might... Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me to take a break. I'm not five. Might want to heal up. How are we doing on beat? Pretty good on beat. Starlo is the only Mario and Luigi character. Really, is it just like Mario, Luigi, Starlo, and then Paper Mario people? I would have expected uh, a bit of a balance. I I guess I don't know like the plot of it or anything. Do you go to Paper Mario World? Because then I guess that makes a little bit more sense. I like Nabbit. Yeah, I heard that Nabbit's in there. I think he's a boss or something. Uh, do I need to hit you with the machine? The opposite. Not a boss. Oh no, or do you, or do you mean uh, Paper Mario comes to regular world? That was not what I wanted to do. They come out of a book because Luigi got scared by a rat. As he does. I'm gonna go diddle this panel. Me 
Miitopia is horrible at asking to take breaks. The one that I remember being the worst is uh, Link Between Worlds. Every time I would go to like hit a save statue thingy, it would be like, hey, stop fucking playing our game, loser. Go outside. I'm like, gee, fuck me, sorry. One would think you would want me to play your game. And then this is maybe the next most noticeable. Um, because I think that's maybe around the same era of games getting released where they just really decided, hey, you're all fucking five-year-old diaper babies, aren't you? Better, better target shit for the kids. Miitopia is way worse. Did Miitopia also have 3D? I've never played any of those. What about this world do you like so much? For me so far, like, the locales aren't necessarily anything special, but I like the dream world and I think that's cool. Not sure just to feel combined with music and such. Yeah, that's fair enough. Sometimes it's hard to put that into words. And I think ultimately a lot of the games we play, like as kids, determine like what our preferences are, right? Um, like I really, I played Wind Waker young, so I really value a lot of the stuff that Wind Waker brings to the table and stuff like that. Uh, same with Thousand Year Door. And I would say the same, like, the world in that one uh, really delights me. How did I get by that? I was a teenager. I mean, I'd, I'd still count that. Like, kid loosely. Though I probably the younger you are, the, like, more some of that stuff can stick and really be formative. Hammer in the Dream World is much better. I have iron balls on both of them for Mario right now. Uh, so whatever whatever works best for the enemy pattern. Or getting first hits. I've replayed seven times. I I so rarely replay games anymore because there's I did that backwards. Uh, there's enough new stuff that I'm uh constantly jumping between the like I can I can go and look at the games I've streamed since I started streaming especially and there's so few old games in there in general that aren't just new releases or newish uh and maybe the only game I've replayed which still kind of comes with an asterisk is when we just did Thousand Year Door uh where I was I was backseating as my mom played it Which was kind of the point, because I was like, I've played this a lot, why don't you play it instead? And then uh, I just like mopped up and did the pit afterwards because I wanted to fight Wacka and stuff. First rank up is always fast level. I think I... Because there was someone here last time who was like also an expert at this and was giving me all the tips and thoughts and stuff. I think I opted to not do that. And I think I maybe won't ever do that since you can't get all the level up bonuses in this one. I would rather grind a little bit off stream and instead have like extra bonuses and stuff for bosses. Because um, I, I just struggle a bit with these compared to Paper Mario. But I was I was pondering about that earlier because I tend to give like Mario the power equipment stuff and build him like I try to build them both even um, but like in the interim if I have one more powerful it's usually Mario and I was wondering if with dream world stuff in mind is he at the base better to be the stronger one or would it be better for Luigi because he has all of the multi hits and stuff. You don't ever need to grind. This is the one where you can get Rambo ranked during the main game. I I might a little bit. We'll see. Just because uh, when I did the Superstar Saga remake, I had 
a hellish time against Cacletta at the end. And so I've made sure to just be, like, well prepared uh, for everything else. But it, it's not really been a lot of dedicated grinding. You know, I'm not, like, sitting down and being like, all right, time to spend three hours doing nothing but fights. It's more like, um, as I may be, like, running around to, like, find beans and pillows and stuff off stream, you know, I might fight some more enemies just as a result of that. Final boss isn't as hard as her. I do, I think it was specifically the remake version that really made her, oh, I can't hammer here. Uh, the remake made her worse, I think, because I don't remember her being that bad when I played the original on Wii U Virtual Console. Like, they fucked with the timing of things, so instead of being consistently timed, it would, like, slowly speed up, and that really fucked with me. Yeah, well, I, I had, like, items in that one, so I did have to use one turn using, like, one of the max alls or the nuts or something to get myself healed back up. Um, it, it was more like when she would do that spinning arm attack, no matter where I was, I just could not make it out of there alive for the life of me. Uh, and so, at the end of a rather long stream, I was eventually like, alright, it's three in the morning and I have work tomorrow, I have to just go to bed and stop. And then I came back and beat her in like 45 minutes the next day after doing a bit of practice off stream. Uh, and then did uh, like an hour of Bowser, not Bowser Jr.'s journey, uh, minion quest. And I was like, oh, I really don't care for this. We're not doing minion quest and Bowser Jr.'s journey. We're just going to skip those. The whole remake? I played the remake of that, too. Um, I thought it was fine. I know people have, like, pros and cons with the original, but for me, them having some of the quality of life stuff that the more recent 3DS games have, uh, made me want to do the remake. As someone who hasn't played the original, it seemed fine. There wasn't anything that was, like, really egregious to me, but I know they did, like, changes to sprite work and music and stuff. Yeah, yeah, so since I played the original of Partners in Time, Bowser's Inside Story is the only one, uh, or rather the original of that specifically is now the only one that I'll have not played. So if I ever do a second pass on these someday, then I will play the original version, just for variety's sake. How the fuck are you supposed to hit him if you stop? That They didn't say to hit him, right? Yeah, there we go. What, what specifically do you not like about the remake? Ruin the Tower of Yik Giant Battle. If that got changed in the remake, that might be it. Apparently, and I can see that since Cacoletta had the same problem, like maybe the remakes just have a bad issue with there's one specific boss that's really bad. You can wait, Pillow. I'm gonna get that block and check for beans. Well, I'll get this since I saw it, but I'll run around after since I will need to go up anyway after doing this Pillow. Just flip it over then. I'm well. That wouldn't really work because it was just in dude's mouth, so it would be covered all the way. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh yeah. 
much slower music and sound is off because it's slower. Bowser no longer uses syrup and star candies. They made the toad generic, ruined the title screen. Okay. Like, I, I get it, because if I had played the original, I would be that guy. But since I haven't, like, I'm just not bothered by it. Oh, I, okay, he's just there the whole time. Oh, wait, can I do momentum and then just let it go? That's actually way easier than what I was trying to do before. A little more. What is my map looking like here, too? Oh, wow. Uh, I guess we gotta do stuff and come back. How there? Weird that you only go up in one direction. Found that perfectly to get hit. I'm so good at video games. Other way. Mighty Meteors Coast. Uh, this is Bowser's inside story thing. I can't believe this. The special move, Mighty Meteor. I don't even know that one. What would that, would it, was that like the Magic Koopas or something? Or, or is that in this? Or is that, that was the bros, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that one now. I didn't use it much. Because we got, like, a fucking ton of them right towards the end of the game, and that one wasn't, like, the best damaging one that I could do. I really favored Fat Luigi. That was one of my faves. Well, I fucked that up. What? I suck at these. Much better than the original because it was only 8 instead of 24. Oh, and now I got distracted. Uh, yeah, that is the big difference. What a weird way to rebalance it. That's a huge change in cost. The moves are really strong, so at a on paper, I don't know that I mind them doing that. Um, just like not too much, right? Like raising it by two or something is fine. Raising it by sixteen, a bit much. Plus, once you get to end game and you have free or discounted, then it's not as big of a deal anyway. Final special move was 20 and then 28. Uh, which was the last one? Was that, that was the one where you throw up at the star, right? I think by that time I did have three slash discounted Rose moves, so I didn't mind. Yeah, Falling Stars, that sounds like the one I think, I think I'm thinking of. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, was there other things in there? Probably. Let me go back. I'm sure I can get an item or two. Oh, yeah. Giant Battle totally should have had EXP. I fucking did a fight, didn't I? Pay me.
No, I don't want to fight that man. I've had enough of these guys for now. I don't know, maybe... Because Bowser is just kind of stronger in general, so maybe they thought... You know, he needed to, like, chill a bit. Oops, well, I fucked that up. I guess we'll have to fight Screwy McScrewerson. I love several iron balls. That feels really good. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> um, excuse you. His name is fucking Skip Drill. Again, I'm also that guy. I just don't know this series by well, so I'm just kind of like, eh. I'll just call him things. Okay. I don't know if a syrup jar on 50 coins was worth it, but we did it. And probably one more thing over here. Ugh! Oh, I was stupid there. No, I know it. I know they're there when I uh, target them. I have an excuse, though. I canonically cannot read. That's in my lore. Uh, since that was decided early on in my streaming career for me. My chat. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna fight this guy, too. Finally got one right after a while. You read the shell tip saying to call your supervisor, you caught me. Sometimes I can read, it's selective. It comes and goes. Oh my god. These platforms are so awkwardly timed. I guess maybe I'm better off doing it from up here. Yeah, much better. Oh my god, Luigi. If you couldn't, then you wouldn't have even understood my text. Listen, don't think too hard about it. I'm glad that he can actually fall and it doesn't fully impede my progress, because it definitely did that in Bowser's. And that was a pain in the butt. He's the main protagonist, but I'll happily go on without him when it suits my needs. I'm assuming we gotta be getting near the end of this. Once we, uh, like, open up that sand thingy where we needed the four stones. Did this come out during the year of Luigi? I feel like it must have. Yeah, okay. And now we got the Year of Shadow. Ah, uh, to wake up and have a man on top of you and be wet and sticky. I still don't like Shadow's current VA. I don't know... What what other projects has he been in? Because I think like Sonic Prime used different voice actors entirely. Excuse me. Ah, uh, listen. This is uh this is how things are here. This is normal behavior for me. 
Oh yeah, I never liked the mush jams. Been the VA since the original Sonic Generations. Okay, I don't think I have a problem then. I don't recall having any issues with the Shadow voice actor. Um, I am excited to play that though. With aforementioned babbling British friend. I, what do you think about Keanu in the movie? Because like that, that not so much, but I, I like Shadow sounding edgy. So I guess I'm probably cool with the regular voice actor then. Because he is just the edgiest little hog. We barely heard him. I mean, I'm not like lambasting him. I don't think he's doing a terrible job. It's just like, you know, he sounds like Keanu, which I don't think is enough edge for me. I really want to be able to poke myself and go out of the edge. Shadow isn't actually edgy, though, at least he wasn't supposed to be. Well, he definitely is. He's become that. I, well, I mean, semantics, maybe, right? Like, I would say he was always intended to be brooding, and I feel like brooding and edgy are adjacent. But I, I don't know that I would fully disagree with you. He maybe has gotten flanderized a bit. But then again, like, now we're getting more of a look into his backstory than ever before, so perhaps we'll pull back on the flanderization a little bit and he'll be more well-rounded and fleshed out. Um, is the shop close to me? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go there then rather than using items. I hate using items. I want to hoard things. I can check up here for beans. Actually, I should use my beans before going in because I have just been hoarding beans this whole time in an effort to not go into my inventory every two minutes. Not expecting Sonic and Robotnik to team up in the movie. Uh, are they? I can shadow. People have been saying like, oh, he's gonna like take the quill and then he's gonna make metal Sonic or something. As Sugar Conroy said, team hoarding is a pitfall of video games. I know it's not my best habit, but I'll cope. Uh, I, I'm just gonna buy these and see what they do at this point. I can afford it. Alright, beans. We're gonna give Mario HP. We're gonna give... a fairly even distribution of Bros points. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll look forward to seeing what's next. Uh, and then what did I just get? I got badges, so... Decreases enemies' defense, status effects, moment turned into mushroom. So this is a debuff thing, risk badge. Wow, recovers or drops to one, charges or resets, random status effect, and increases everyone's pow. Okay, so like glass cannon build. Yeah, probably not going to be something that I use, but it's interesting. I do think it's weird that you never get stash raises. I don't like that. Oh, I came over here to heal, and then I didn't do that. Let's make sure we do. Oh, well, that's why, because this isn't a healing shop. Uh, that one is another two screens over. That's fine. I'm already over here. We can make the trek. And I can get more beans.
Pepper Jam's world is just bland, yeah. It's, uh, like, wow do I not know what they were thinking. The re Sometimes the reasoning that game devs give, specifically Japanese game devs, is just shit. Uh, like, hearing, with, with Sonic Hubbub, right now, hearing people talk about, like, hey, we want Chow stuff. Um, they're like, oh, we can't just make a Chow game because it has to be part of a Sonic Adventure, and it's like, what the fuck do you mean? No, it doesn't? You misunderstand your own game and you're wrong and you're bad and dumb and fuck you? Uh, similarly, the Mario mandates, because they wanted, like, really clear, like, on-brand Mario stuff. Like, that at least makes more sense as a target goal, but, like, I don't think the value in that matters. Like, sure, for Mario World, as in, like, the actual theme park, I think that's what it's called, right? Like, yeah, lean into your, like, vanilla Mario stuff. For the Mario movie, sure, lean into your vanilla Mario stuff. There's no reason the RPGs have to be bland. The whole heart and soul of them is that you get all these interesting, quirky characters and locations. Strikers charged? I haven't even... I don't pay attention to the soccer games at all. Was Miyamoto involved with that? And like, like why? Did that like go too far off the deep end and then they felt like they needed to dial it back somehow? I thought the Mario movie was fun. Like, I probably could think of criticisms and tweaks, but it was, it was the competent Mario movie. They were the edgiest Mario's games. Oh, okay. I figured we'd probably be fighting this thing. I almost have a charge queued up to heal. The the 50% one takes so much longer. I don't think it's worth it. I might want to go back to 30. I haven't done this in a while. We'll see how good I can do. Or at least this gets me a bunch of hits. What do you mean? That was perfect timing on my part. Peach is made to be this pouty, sassy diva. Like, you don't hate it, but it just doesn't feel like it's true to her character. Uh, this is an even number. I'm just gonna do... Green Shell? I don't feel confident with Fire Flower yet. Plus, clearly I still need practice on the shells. It does, but I can see the issue with the higher-ups. Uh, give me more context for that statement. Fuck. Wow, 35? Holy shit! That's clearly meant to be like, ah, this is easy to deal with, but it hits hard. Except that I'm terrible at those overhead hammer things. Like like you're saying you like, you like Peach, but it just doesn't feel like how she is. Or like how she's supposed to be, rather. Oh my god. Fucking play a video game much? Apparently not. Four does not feel like enough damage. We go in after. What the fuck? It doesn't feel like boring vanilla market friendly peach, but it still feels like her. Okay, I thought you were saying that was a problem though. Uh, did I misunderstand that? He does have hell of dusting. Yes. Oh, well, there goes Luigi. Don't steal my coins. What the fuck, game? I hate it when fucking the economy gets brought into this. 
Leave my money out of this. I guess I'd rather that than damage, though. Might be seen as a marketing problem. This is the first ever E10+. Plus. I guess fucking soccer just goes different, I guess. I'm, I'm so disconnected from sports that I don't think about it, but... I don't know, I guess that fits with uh, the idea that sports keep people so fucking rowdy that they riot in the streets. Which is totally reasonable and acceptable behavior from fucking grown adults. Uh, was it another sports one? Why are you underground? Come back. Can I hammer him? Can I do anything? I'll give it a try. We'll find out. No. Alright, I should take that time to heal, I guess. Finally. Oh yeah? Why is this E10? Is there dick and balls in it? You know, maybe that was just like a... Along with 3DS games telling you to like take a break, did they also maybe like increase the rating on some things? Okay, well it sounds like you have a particular reason. So yeah, definitely don't tell me if it's a spoiler. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Is it like... We can talk about this in a vague sense though. Is it like... Something weird? What? No, okay, let me rephrase this. Is it like a like a kind of violence, maybe, or a scary thing that you might expect? Or is it something like, hey, there's a casino somewhere, and that's bad, so we're rating this E10. Violence, okay. My thought with the casino thing is, you know, like, Pokemon games eventually stopped having casinos because that was causing problems, I think, in Europe somewhere. Whereas it was like, it would need to increase the rating, or it did increase the rating or something. And so they just stopped doing them all together. That's funny that, uh, I'm getting balls off of this. I guess this is based off of my boots or something. And it's a good thing, too, because I keep missing these fucking final hits. I need to hit them so much earlier than I think I do. Well, that was too early. I can't win. Virtual console Pokemon games, 3DS were rated 17 in Europe. I'm glad I would rather that than, like, them removing them. Uh, but yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Casinos don't bother me. There's stuff where it's like... I would like it if people never, like, put cigarettes in media. Well, maybe not never, but, like, usually not, because I think they're just so gross, and I think that we need to just, like, make them weird and make people who smoke feel bad. Uh... Just so that it stops. I kind of feel that way about drinking, too. Um... Casinos, though, I don't know. That doesn't bother me as much because it's not like... It doesn't impact other people as directly. But I, I think for any of these things, there's still a time and a place if you just really want to, like, show the fucking gross seedy underbelly of the world. I'm so sorry. That must be terrible to deal with. I, in general, I really have a problem with stuff people does that impacts other people and they can't realize that or care enough you know like people playing loud music in public too why is your right to do that more important than my right to not have to be bothered by that and apply that to smoking belligerent behavior anything like do what you want in the comfort of your own home i guess but even then like you probably live with other people unless you're like young and single so like don't then
Yeah, that that's really a bummer. Something to look forward to not dealing with someday. Oh, have I. It's not something that I uh, get in depth into on stream, but yeah. Not a fun club. For a long time, I was like, boy, I sure love not being a part of that club, but uh, time progresses and things change. Oh, yeah. Luigi. yeah, I hope that uh, I hope that that happens in a timely manner for you and that your living situation is improved as a result. I'm living at home with my parents still. Uh, I don't know if and when, well, I mean, uh, eventually, you know, I, it's, it's a good way to save money, but there are aspects of that that have become challenging. Yeah, as evidenced by me playing games with her on stream. Uh, my, my mama is a delight as well. Oh, that's tough too, yeah. I'm not, I'm not like necessarily a lover of cities just cause that's like too much people around me and too much noise and yada yada yada. Um, but being like super rural isn't bad either. Like suburbs I think is the sweet spot, which is where I am. Okay, I wasn't sure, but I was guessing from uh, the way you phrased that that that's the case. I'm sorry to hear that. Especially if uh, you got along really well with her. Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, treasure the time that I have with her because she's frail. So I worry that, you know, things are just going to come out of nowhere someday. Knock on wood that that's a very long time from now. To be smothering in times, but I loved her. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Parenting, parenting shit is hard on both sides of it. And I think that by the nature of the parent-child relationship, a lot of times parents don't do a good job of like Recognizing their kids' autonomy. Move from Brooklyn, so huge. Oh yeah, Brooklyn to the middle of nowhere, I bet. Ooh, that's a guy, hold on. Hold on, let's smack you. I've more or less been suburby my entire life, uh, other than like living in dorms in college, which is, you know, kind of its own situation. Yeah, that, that's why I like the suburbs, because uh, we have a bunch of shit close by, some of it I can even walk to, but, you know, we're like in a house with slight spacing between neighbors and stuff, so generally I'm not hearing to have, I'm not having to hear like people fucking bumping around and stuff. Grew up in New Jersey, so I'm a New Jersey suburb guy. I've, I've lived around, but I'm a Midwest guy. So you might hear me say an ope sometimes. And it's it's been very funny recently with uh, Tim Walls being up for VP and seeing all the media around him, and just seeing like all that Midwesternness. Uh, and me and some of my other Midwest streaming friends have been like, Huh, I guess we do say Ope a lot, don't we? 
It's just been like putting some of that stuff into into clear view. Increases the amount of coins a foe will drop each time you damage it. Tim Walls, yeah. Yeah, you know Kamala's VP. I'm a family guy. Did I say waltz? Because I meant walls. Walls is how you say it. I don't know if I want... The six is good, but I think I like the iron ball thing better for now. Oh, that old geezer. Without getting into actual politics, because we don't want to talk actual politics on stream, uh, regardless of anyone's leanings, I do just... The Midwesternness is funny. I want a young president for once, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, fair enough. And and I think I absolutely agree with that, regardless of uh, affiliation and stuff. Like, absolutely, we should be having medium-aged people in power, not a bunch of fucking old people. Luigi Mario for president. Mario is supposed to be like 25, right? So Luigi can't be more than a couple years off for that. And he's a sweet guy. I'd vote for him. He's got the gentle temperament of uh, someone who would actually be a good leader. Because he's not just like power hungry. Oh yeah, they are twins. <laughs> Stupid question. Right, so 25 plus a couple minutes. Or minus a couple of minutes. And he's a legal US resident. It's all coming together. <laughs> you know, we still got a dream world to do, don't we? I don't know, this might be like last time where we get a little bit into the dream world and then stop for the night. I assume they have dual citizenship of USA and Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, I, I mean it depends on what line of canon we're talking about, but if I remember right at the end of the movie they're just like going back and forth, right? Like they commute to the Mushroom Kingdom or something. No one likes a hot pillow. Oh, you silly little game. I feel like we're still making decent progress, though, if I'm, like, most of the way through the sands minus the dream area. I'm still hoping this takes more, like, seven or eight streams than 12, like I had initially estimated. Frankie could, but I also feel like because of how he is, he might be like, you know, like he would never apply for whatever the second citizenship was. He'd just be like, I'm here. They can fucking drag me away if they can get me. Yeah, yeah, I know it's the longest by far. I, I go off of how long to beat a lot of the time, and so going off of that, I was thinking this might take me like 12 streams. Which is a lot, as I'm trying to cram in so much stuff that I'm streaming five days a week, uh, leading up to Brothership. But then, after playing the first stream, I was like, oh, I feel like we're getting farther than I thought we would, just based on, like, walkthroughs and stuff, so... Uh, now I'm thinking it's maybe gonna be more like seven or eight? We aren't that far. Well, I know we aren't that far, but just, just again, based off of, like, looking at how many sections are in walkthroughs and stuff, uh, and, and what I'm estimating for percentages and things, I'm hoping we're more like, I, do you think we're anywhere near a quarter of the way through? Like, what would you, if we finish, if we finish the dream area here in the sands, what would you say that is percentage-wise through the game, loosely?
Hold up, are you gonna figure it out? Also, uh, since this is my second stream of this, we're gonna end at about like, you know, like eight hours of playtime, if that helps you figure it out at all. Which is, that's my usual thing, with exception sometimes, but usually we're doing about four hour streams. Cause I, I eat my, I get off work and eat my dinner and I have a little bit of time to chill and then I stream and then it's fucking bedtime. There's just not enough time in the day to do work and streaming. A little bit better XP now. Welcome back. How did the tabulations go? 15-20%. Okay, maybe it will end up being more like a 12 stream game. Damn. Or, you know, based on a four stream, you know, like if I go longer, that's going to change the number. Middle section is longer than you'd expect. Okay. I mean, at, as need be, I'll just cram extra streams on the weekend to make sure that I'm getting done with uh, everything I need to before Brothership. I'm also like, I'm, I'm doing a huge detour for October and playing like mostly non-Mario and Luigi games that are like Halloween-y. So that's uh, another reason why like trying to fit everything in I want to is going to be a lot. I don't usually have like an area that I really hate thematically, as long as the mechanics aren't super annoying. So like moving around on that cart system, that was a little bit annoying. Uh, but like just by the fact that it's a desert, I don't automatically hate it. So kind of like Toyota and Paper Mario then. Look at that shaft. I sure do love a nice big shaft. Just, you know, just chill there for a sec, Mario. I'm gonna... I gotta check. I gotta know if there's item boxes. So we have to check all the little nooks and crannies. Ugh, I don't like the robots. Oh, and I gotta heal my bros points, too. I... It pisses me off that they stop doing heal blocks. Why the fuck? Give me heal blocks. I don't want to use items. Yeah, I mean... That, it's, it's just, like... You find the optimal way to play a game, right? So, it's nice when games incentivize you and are designed around that incentivization. Uh, of playing with different characters, because I would rather play as the whole cast of characters that you're giving me, but if the best way is to play as, like, a certain grouping or something, like, of course I'm going to gravitate towards that. I think in one... I maybe used, like, Mario... Rabid Peach... Rabid... I don't know, I don't I think I used Rabid Peach, but I don't know that I remember the rest of my team that strongly. I can't stand Rabid Peach. I kinda like her whole like Instagram girl vibe. 
even though that would annoy the shit out of me in a real person, it's a character, so I'm fine with like a a goofy, crazy personality type. Rev and Wire is the best, especially in Sparks of Hope. Yeah, I don't feel like they had... They were very, like, kind of one-note, minion-y type characters in the first one. So I'll be interested to see what them being fleshed out uh, is like. Alright, that was all of those. Let's see if I can just drop down here. Perfect. Ooh, that's a big screen. Since I gotta use items anyway, let me use a syrup. I don't know why I went past that. Use a syrup or two now just so that I'm prepared in the event that I'm like about to die and need to bail myself out. More boisterous strongman type. Here's about it. So like a himbo, like a golden retriever. I do like that. And Ed oh I'm doing my thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh Edge is like the Bowser rabbit, I think. Maybe you don't have to say if that's a spoiler, but I think I think that's who that is. Or the, or maybe they're just like an OC do not steal, I don't know. They had kind of Bowser revives, but I think they're maybe like greener. It's been a while since I've like looked or thought about that game. When I, whenever it was on sale and I got it, that's the last time I thought about it. Not a himbo, he isn't dumb, his humor comes from the others ignoring his antics. Okay. So may maybe more just energetic personality type than himbo. Hell yeah, ball kill. Yeah, if you're gonna voice him, you gotta give him a broken accent. And then I assume Rabbit Peach is the very like, oh my god, I just want to go to the mall and get fucked. Like that kind of vibe. I don't know why one would get fucked at the mall, but sure, that's what I said. Or maybe one after the other. But more raspy. Oh, I'd love it if she was like a doctor girlfriend smoker type. Not that that's what you're saying, I just think that would be fun. Oh, too early. Damn, I'm doing 47 now? That's a lot. Yeah, if Luigi's is surprising, we can save that surprise for me. And I'll find out whenever I get to that. Oh, I gotta go in the bottom to get in there. That's annoying. But okay, I guess. I would have figured that out if I had paid closer attention to the map. Maybe if I had the map game and you didn't make me just look at Sleeping Luigi all the time. I still don't know why that can't just be a toggle. There's no good reason. I 
I don't remember enough about the original. I don't even remember if Brawler was a thing and that probably was. Or maybe they all had guns. Or maybe the Brawler thing is still a gun, kind of. I don't know. We'll find out. You both died. How is there one of you left? Cheating. Oh, I would have loved both of them. I feel like they could go crazy and give you a huge cast of characters and rapid versions in that, you know, go like... Granted, the party size is small, so it's not actually like Fire Emblem, but why not? Next game, if they make a third one, go big. Make it Mario Fire Emblem. Give us bigger battles with a way bigger cast of characters. Do not... Oh, he wasn't even in it yet. Uh, was Junior the bad guy in the first game? I really just don't remember. Only nine. Yeah, for a tactics game, not that many. I kind of felt the same way with Persona Tactica. Which again, I know a smaller party size, smaller... Actually smaller cast of characters. Mario has more characters than Persona does. But like, you could make shit up. Or like have... They could have just had personas as units. They didn't have to tie them fully to characters. Him and Spawny, gotcha. Who did you have in the first game? Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and then Rabbit variants? And then Kong's in the DLC. And then this one is like Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Rabbit variants, and then uh, what's her name that you were just talking about? Edge. Mega Bug Bone appears. Yeah. And Rabbit Rosalina, right. Yeah, yeah. Because the, there's that mysterious villain who definitely isn't anybody we know. I'm assuming. But it definitely isn't anybody we know. They don't even try to hide it. It's like, I've only seen trailers, and I still know. It'd be great if I was getting XP for all these kills. Like, Genie and Beepo figured out fairly quick. Frankly, that's the better option, right? It would be annoying for them to fucking, like, door the explorer at the whole game and just be like, Gosh, I wonder who that is! Genie, I don't know if I know who that is, so we can also leave that a mystery for me to discover. No, that's too high. Well, what the heck? The other one was too low. I don't need a Goldilocks to shit, just work. Well, I, I just don't know who Genie is, so like, we can, we can just leave it at that for Genie. If it's someone that was in the first game and I forgot, then that's fine. 
but uh, otherwise we'll just leave Genie for now. Okay, was there anything else? Hello, hi, I'm clicking on the map, you fucker. Let me in. Can I not right now? Can I not when I'm diagonal? That's really weird. Fine, whatever, fall apart. You seem to be interfering with my map anyway. I just want to make sure I didn't leave any items up there. Uh, a coin. Yeah, okay, a couple, a couple. Ooh, payback wear sounds good. Deal equal damage to an enemy that damages you. Do you know... Co well, Cozy Wear has to stack, right? Like, if I get hit twice, I get two defense stacks up to some maximum. I'm wondering when I want to get off of the Cozy Wear and onto something else. Because it's an early game item, so, like, it can't be that good. Why can I not go left? Is the fucking sand blocking me? That's weird. Okay, whatever. Ah, uh, it's only 10 coins, I don't care. Luigi's blocking me. Oh! Yeah, okay. Well, I think I got most of the stuff up there before, but that's okay. Anyway, since I finished... Well, how, lo how long is this? How long do you think we have in here? Like... Because I know I still have to fight a boss, too. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I just, I want to be done for tonight. I'm ready to, like, get to bed and stuff. Uh, so we'll call out here, even if there's not a ton left in this dungeon. Yeah, I just, because I'm streaming so much right now, I'm not particularly motivated to, like, go extra long, even if it's only for bits, because I'm just... I am kind of tired in general. Uh, so let me see if I have any buddies on to raid. Uh, and since you're new, I will be streaming tomorrow and Friday, more of this. I'm streaming Monday through Friday currently at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and we got, we'll have some more of this coming up next week as well, also with the plucky squire, because that seems delightful. Uh, I do not see any close friends on right now, so we're just going to call it here for tonight, y'all. I hope that uh, you can manage the smoky smell somehow, because that just sounds like a real bad time. Uh, and it was lovely getting to chat with you. So I hope I see you around again soon. And everyone else in chat, you're also lovely. This is all around. Mwah. Why are they making out in my thumbnails? Uh, you know, sometimes I just have thoughts. Sometimes I think about boys kissing. Anyway, good night, everybody. Bye.